Hi everyone! So today we're going to be making our sweet cocoa almond 30 minute high temperature liquid soap recipe from the book The Ultimate Guide to Liquid Soap. This is not a beginner process so if you don't have very much experience with liquid soap making we suggest starting with cold process liquid soap or low temperature liquid soap. If you're looking for more information about all three of these processes, The Ultimate Guide to Liquid Soap, Soap Science, Recipe Formulating, Cold Process Liquid Soap, Hot Process Liquid Soap, and our 30 minute temperature liquid soap process. This is all discussed in great detail in the book. So let's go ahead and go over our ingredients first. In our crock pot heated up, we have our sweet cocoa almond recipe. We have a lye solution, which will be made with glycerin and distilled water. We have a dual lye recipe, which is sodium and potassium hydroxide. We have cast steel liquid soap for an accelerant. We have sodium lactate, sucrose, and sodium chloride. And last, we have our dilution water. So to start with, we're going to start with 35% soap concentration, which means that our final recipe will be approximately 35% soap, and the other 65% will be water and glycerin. So let's go ahead and get started by adding our 30 high temperature liquid soap additives to the crock pot. So we're gonna add two squeezes of Castile liquid soap, our sodium lactate, our sucrose and sodium chloride, and then we can make our lye solution. So each of those ingredients has a specific purpose. Every ingredient that we include in this recipe has a specific purpose, which means that they're gonna be solvents, accelerants, clarifying agents, um, an emulsion stabilizer, all different types of good things. And each of those ingredients is necessary to make sure that the recipe stays fluid, it saponifies quickly, and it dilutes quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my PPE, which is gloves, long sleeves, closed toed shoes, pants, goggles, and a respirator. So I'm going to mix the lye solution and then we'll go ahead and get started.
we are going to put a cover on this and allow it to rest for just a couple of minutes and then when it tests soap neutral and there's no zap, then we can go ahead and add our dilution water. You can see how it's starting to clear up already with some of the water that's in there. Let's go ahead and add our final dilution water. our immersion blender once more. Yeah. It may thicken up right when you add it, add the extra water, but that's okay. our final step. So after this part is done, um, everything's soap neutral, we've added the dilution water, you can see it's still got a little bit of soap that's not diluted yet. That will be perfectly fine. You're just going to go ahead and cover your crock pot, allow it to sit for anywhere between five and ten minutes with this recipe and it will have been completely cleared. So we're going to let it sit and then I'll be back. Okay. So this right here is after about five minutes. We'll come back in another five minutes and see what it looks like. And this is our finished product. So this whole recipe took me about 30 minutes from start to finish. And then we're going to unplug it, and as it cools, as you can see right now the viscosity, I mean it's kind of there, but once it cools it will completely clear and then really start to thicken up. So there you go. There is our sweet cocoa almond recipe by the Ultimate Guide to Liquid Soap. Enjoy!